Okay, you've got six functions up here, the graphs of these. And this one, y equals 3x minus x cubed. Well, it's the x cubed bit, which is, takes most relevance because it's got numbers which are bigger. So if you have 5 cubed, that would be 125, but 5 squared would only be 25. And so the bigger number is ex it's exaggerated. And we should know that x cubed graph looks something like that. And therefore, a minus x cubed graph, because it's got a minus in front of it, will be something like that. So which one that looks like that? That's going to be E. And this is an exponential graph, 3 to the power of negative x. So 3 to the power of negative x. Well, if it had been 3 to the power of x, it would just rise gradually like so. Well, actually quite, quite steeply like so. But it's a negative x, so it's going to go from up here and it's going to gradually get decrease and decrease and decrease and the only one which decreases the whole way there is f um, but it's worthwhile um, revising those and checking those out and seeing where you are all right given this graph of y equals x squared you got to do this y equals x minus 2 all squared on the same axis and you could just plot them so you might just know exactly where the graph goes or you may have to think that if x is 0, then 0 to take away 2 is minus 2. Minus 2 squared is minus 2 times by minus 2, which is 4. So that's one of the points. If x is 2, 2 minus 2 is um, nothing. Squared, that would be nothing. So x is 2. x is 4. 4 take away 2 is 2. And 2 squared. It feels like that. So it's still going to be the same shape. But it's obviously moved, as you can see, to or two places to the right, like so. So... Ideally, you know exactly that it's gone two places to the right, but if not, then you can just actually think, okay, I'll plot a few points, see what happens. And that's question 11 done.